Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be setting up Plex Connect, which allows you to stream your media to your Apple TV 3 without the need for a jailbreak. Alright, so let's get started. Just open up your web browser, and in the description I've included a few links. So if you just want to go to the Plex Connect link that's located below, it'll start downloading the Plex Connect um, scripts. Alright, we will just just grab that file and store it anywhere you like. And then just extract it. You can delete the zip file if you like. Open that up and uh, we'll minimize that for now. Next, if you want to go to the Python link, copy paste, alrighty, we're looking for Python 2.7.8, alright, not the 3.4.1, so click on 2.7.8, and then we'll scroll down to the Windows 86 MSI installer, start downloading that, just give that a second, Okay, now that's finished downloading, we're just going to install Python. Just click on the Run dialog box. Okay, we're going to install it for all users. Click on Next. Leave it in the existing location. It'll save it straight to your C drive. Uh, I already have it installed, but I'm just going to install it again. So you won't, probably won't see that message. So just click on Next. Leave all the defaults. That's fine. Next. Let it install. Okay, after it's complete, click on finish, and then we can go to our, our third link which is open SSL so just copy paste it from the description paste it up s up in your browser and you'll scroll down to and find the win32 open SSL version 1.0.1 i light click on that we'll start downloading and then just install it Okay, the screen will pop up, just click on next, accept the license agreement, click on next, and let it install to its default location as well, so next, 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 install. Uh, you can make a donation if you'd like, but at this point in time I'm not going to click on finish. Alright, then we're going to want to get, uh, copy that th fourth link, copy and paste it into our browser. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, generate a certificate from our computer that we are then going to install on the Apple TV. It's, um, you can install a certificate or a profile on any Apple TV, it's not a jailbreak, it's just something that allows you to administer the Apple TV. Do is just bring up command prompt. Alright, and then we're just going to copy paste this information and paste it in here. So I might just move my screens so you can see. Very simple copy. Right click, paste, enter. Just give it a sec. Sometimes my computer's a little bit slow. Yeah, so it'll generate a key, copy the next line, paste, sometimes it might give you a bit of a, an error message, but don't stress too much about that, it always works, and copy the third line, and paste, so we're just going to generate that key in the C drive, 
done. All right, so now we can just just click on uh, type in exit and get out of that command prompt. And we can also close our browser. We don't need that anymore. So now if you just want to go to your C drive, scroll down, it, you'll see the trailers keys that we just generated. There's three of them. Make sure you grab all three. So just want to cut that out of there. And paste it into our Plex Connect dash master folder. And then go to assets and then certificates. Paste it straight into there. And then you can go back to the Plex Connect dash master. And if we run the Plex Connect uh, Python script, it'll be it'll actually display as so you can see it plexconnect.py. So double click on that, it'll start running. At this point in time, just click on hold control C and it'll shut down that script and then we can close it for now. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a static IP address for this computer. So if you right click on uh, your uh, network connection and go to Open Network and Sharing Center, depending if you've got Windows 8 or not, you might see it a bit different. Uh, change adapter settings, and then I'm on Wi-Fi at the moment, so I'll edit my Wi-Fi settings. But you might be on on uh, Ethernet, so you would change your LAN connection. So we're going to right click and click on Status, and then Details. So now we can see our current information. So what we're going to do is I just want to should just take note of the current information just so that we can type it in again. So the IP address, the gateway, or the subnet, the gateway, that's exactly the right one. And then obviously, and of course your DNS uh, servers. So just write that all down because you're going to be needing that on the next screen. And then the next one. Okay, we can close that and we can click on properties, scroll down and go to Internet Protocol version 4, click on properties, and now we want to set up a static IP address. So I'll type in this information here. 192.168.0.17. It'll automatically fill in my subnet. Okay, close. You might lose connectivity for a second, but a little if you're just duplicating the same settings it'll come back. And we'll click on close. So just take note of that uh, IP address that you've set yourself. So you just minimize this, you'll you can use it later. So now all we're going to do is run our Plex Connect service again. So open up that Plex Connect dash master and double click on plexconnect.py and it'll start up. And close that folder then. Alright, the remaining configuration is done on the Apple TV, so I'll bring that up now. Okay, you should be able to see both my Plex Connect running as, n as well as my Apple TV. So now what you want to do is, on your Apple TV, just go to the settings area, click on general, scroll down to network, uh, click on Wi-Fi, Click on Wi-Fi again, it should be whatever your network is called. And then scroll down to Configure DNS. Hit Enter or Select and change this option to Manual. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in that IP address of our uh, Plex Media Server. So for mine, as you can see on screen, is 192.168.0.17. Yours might is obviously going to be different. 192.
17. Once you're done, click on done. And we'll apply the settings. Now we can get out of that. Now just hold both the select button and the menu button at the same time for about 15 seconds until your LED on the Apple TV starts flickering and then let go to reset your Apple TV. Alright, you'll see Plex Connect start processing a few requests that it's receiving from your Apple TV as in downloading movie posters and stuff like that from Apple itself so it just forwards those types of requests straight to Apple. So now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll across to settings go on general and scroll down to send data to Apple. Now instead of hitting select hit the play button you'll see a screen like the following click on add profile and then uh, just click OK to that warning message. Now what you're going to want to type in is uh, the URL that's listed in the description which is http semicolon slash slash trailers dot apple dot com slash trailers dot c-e-r and I've also posted that up on the screen as well just so you can read it. Once you've typed that in click on submit and it will give you, it will add that trailers.apple.com below the add profile section. So click on, and you'll see that it's actually added it because so you, you have the option to remove it. So now if we just click on the menu button and get all the way out, back to the front screen, we can then click on the trailers application. And in doing so, it will bring up our Plex library. But if we scroll across to library, you will see our library section that we added before in the previous video. So it presents the posters and it starts automatically scrolling through those movies. If you hover over TV shows, it'll do the same. So then we can then go inside and here you can navigate uh, across to all shows and then you can scroll through your your seasons or your TV shows accordingly. So an example, you're just going to American Dad or whatever your TV show you've got. Click on the season and then you can just uh, select the episode to play. And if we get out of it, we can continue navigating. The different sub, the different menus across the top are pretty self-explanatory. Unwatched, obviously, is everything that you haven't watched just yet. Genres, obviously, genres. On deck is an interesting one. It has two two areas: uh, recently added and recently aired. Recently added is things that you've just added to your library. Recently aired is in order of when they were actually aired on television. So if we can go back, same thing with movies. It'll open up automatically onto the on deck section, so you can scroll across to all movies. You can browse it like this if you like or you can change uh, some of its settings. Same with movies. So you, movies are automatically appear in like a grid fashion. You can modify those settings in the main screen. So you can just change it to list view. I encourage you to have a bit of a look through these settings as some of them will help benefit you. So in uh, duration format, you know, different options, display options, etc. Quality. And that everyone is it. Any questions please let me know. If you have any problems uh, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'll try and reply to as many as I can. And uh, thank you.